Hi, this is Jose Ramona Viña Jr. from Imperia, California, United States of America. Today is Thursday, July 24, 2014. It's 18.10 hours Pacific time from Imperia, California. Today's show We'll be talking about government and history. Government history or government and history. Okay? So, get your pencil, pen, paper so can you write and take notes. Is that alright? We're just gonna go to the main dish to the point, you know, I'm not gonna go all today's and all the stuff right now, you know. <laughs> no, we just got to a main point. It's more like emergency. I have no time to research everything. But you might do that somewhere. Uh, yeah, we'll be talking about government history. Or government history. Okay. This is your history class for today. For you, my true friends, to learn from this. Alright. <laughs> I was thinking about a uh, uh, buffalo soldier de la raza, buffalo soldier de la raza. <laughs> the news like clown me huh kinda of funny right oh, it's a buffalo horn okay we're going to history so we can learn from history and you can learn from history too uh, government why government makes words words w a r s Learn. Okay. <coughs> okay. Governments make words to conquer and to put under submission other nations or countries to obtain the land from them or keep the land from them with the best weather to live. And to take away the best of other persons and lands. People, and where those words are made. Is that clear? For example, when the England men came to the now name country. No, but United States, England men murdered American Indians and the French people or French persons ran away from the Englishmen all the way north to the northern parts of North America to a place named today Canada where coal is very cold. Probably under zero below, maybe 30 below zero. Man, very cold. People don't like those weathers. I don't really, you know, I've been in places like that. <sighs> People, it's very, life is very hard, you know, to live. It's not that nice. Uh, so, French ran, I mean, all the way to Canada. What the history says, uh, you know, all, other days, you know, when the Englishman first came to United States, you know, Try to take over, you know, conquer <laughs> uh, the Indians. They were the land, the best lands, right? They are. Yeah, and notice part that weather very cold in Canada. 
I mean, I don't like the weather, cold weather, you know, too cold. Freezing cold, I mean, oh. sometimes even you put a lot of coats, still too cold. Yeah, it's very difficult to be in those places. <sighs> like stuff. Yeah. So, that's why people make wars for government to conquer, take the lands away. Maybe to obtain oil from other places for to have here and sell. Right? So, that's why those lands are made. And they keep the Indians away, you know, from the United States, try to persecute them. Or any person they don't like it, right? Oh, like me? They don't like me? For telling the truth? The way it is? Uh, maybe, I don't know. Okay, I'm being a little sarcastic, right? Okay. A little khaki? No, there's no khakiness here, huh? to be proud here really <laughs> okay let's continue with the class for example in Mexico well when the first and, and the place named Mexico now you know in these times or Estados Unidos Mexicanos in past times when the Spanish men first arrived in the now name Estados Unidos Mexica, Mexicanos or Mexico the Spaniards tried to conquer the Aztecs by force. Yeah, by force. And tried to impose a false religion by force. True, you know? That the person that did not obey the Spaniards, those Aztecs were tortured and put to death and were murdered. For now, obeying the Spaniards. Also, in history, it's written that when the Spaniards used to see a cult too, on an Indian or Aztec, the Spaniards, or some the Spaniards, would arrest the person or the Aztec, and by four, that cult too was pulled out by force. How the mouth at the Aztec by Spaniards? Yeah, so you gotta be careful and learn from past days, you know, past times. I mean, history is there, you know. We gotta learn from the past and make it better, a better day for you and I, right? <laughs> yeah. So, you learn, uh, yeah, in Mexico they tried to impose a uh, religion by force, like Catholic religion, you know, like with the cross, take a cross, 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 that the devil go away, they just come, eh, come on, uh, so here, <laughs> I mean, I'm not picking on nobody, okay? I just explain the way I'm saying it. You don't believe me? Check history. Do you research? Um, no, no, I think I, I learned here in the United States and I'm probably college with Mr. government class, you know, in history class. No, I learned from Mexico. I went to school, elementary school in Mexico. I went to high school in Imperial High School in Imperial California, United States. And I did some college too, a junior college, Imperial Valley College, junior college. Oh, I got a degree in journalism and another one in physical education. Two AS, AS, Associate in Science and Journalism and Associate in Science and Physical Education. So, yeah, that's right. Yeah, I graduated from high school too, you know, Imperial High School, 1984. So it's no yoke, huh? Ah, the same one, guys. I change. <laughs> what else here? 
Yeah, so uh, why they had them. I mean, government made wars to conquer, or turn people's land, the best way for them to live, and kick out the people that live there, you know, for them to live there. Yeah. Well, I learned in private college that when you know government class, Mr. Baum were laugh. I think. Uh, government class, uh, yeah, uh, they do that government. And give them the best lands for them to live, best weather. <laughs> uh, and kick out the people that live there, you know. Persecute them, kill them, or run them away. Yeah. <laughs> Larry Hannah seems she's out there. Her son, he does not run away from no one. Thank you, Rihanna. I'm gonna bless you. You're there still. Uh, Rihanna Fendi, singer. Uh, I think it's about me, you know, talking about me. That I don't run from no one. <laughs> she got a point. I guess I'm trying to lead up to her son, huh, Rihanna? Where's Riri? Really? She knows. Okay. Um, other things. What? I ran away from the one. Rihanna Fenty. They had a son there. I believe she was talking about me. He does not run away from anybody. That's when they put the poison in the water and the pump that I disable. Oh, somebody shot me. This has crushed my son on my, by my abdomen. Uh, never seen before that day somebody shot. Uh, mm. I still lie, you know, I tell you another day, like the sun says, out there, another out there. Son, I tell you another day, huh? But anyway, someday we're gonna die anyway. Right? We're born, live, and die. And that happens, that happens. But now I'm still here. We'll go to the same place anyway, right? Okay, uh, back back to the point here. Government class. Government history. No, I'm not playing that neither, okay? Like somebody want me to change my name and probably they want me to play that. I mean, that's an embarrassment for me. No, no, I don't hear anybody done those things, okay? Ah, God bless uh, my true friends out there, Hindus out there, you know, and Rumble out there, still around, right? Ah, oh, okay, it's Carlos, Carlos was out there. Uh, and another thing, we had to learn from the past, improve our past. And some people tried to impose a religion in Mexico, the Catholic Church, I believe, was right. And they had the cross, you know, like the cross. Oh, the cross. <laughs> They're trying to do, they didn't wear vampires or something. Come on. Okay. Mm. <laughs> uh, I mean, I don't mean to pick with anybody, but you, you read the Holy Bible, they're teaching false doctrine or false religion. There's only one scripture in the Holy Bible New Testament which is written about true religion. The true religion is to go visit the fatherless and go visit the widows in their tribulations. That's the true religion. As in none other true religion written there in the Holy Bible that talks about. As a matter of fact, that things are contradicted in the Holy Bible. So. <laughs> Another scripture is read the Holy Bible. Well, we're, we're not in the Holy Bible. Okay, I'm not a theologian, okay? I don't have degrees in theology. I don't have any doctorates in anything in theology. I don't have doctorate, doctorate in theology or anything like that, okay? I don't. No, it's not a joke. It's telling you the plain truth is the way it is. Uh, okay. Uh, Yeah. Uh. <laughs> oh, really? You're sorry. Uh, this is scripture in the, New, in the Old Testament that a friend of mine taught me a long time ago. His name was Jorge. It's Jorge. I had not seen it in a long time. And now you are. He showed me a scripture in the Bible. It's written. 
Curse is the man that trusts in men and put his son as a flesh. Yeah, it's something I'll say, you know. He was it's talking the scripture about my uh really different version of the Holy Bible in the Old Testament and the boy Jeremiah. Curse is the human that trusts in another human and put his son as flesh for him. That means you are curious, you trust with all your heart, all your mind, and all your strength in another human being. And those preachings and churches, and like Pentecostal churches, apostolic churches, Baptist churches, Jehovah Witnesses, uh, congregations, Baptist churches, uh, pure in Holy Ghost churches, I mean, those preaching there are humans. You trust in those humans with all your heart, all your mind, and all your heart, you are cursed. So be careful. They're humans too. So if they say something, you better verify, you know, check if they're telling the truth or not. Take notes, right? And check and verify. Okay, and whatever they're talking about to see if they're telling you the truth or not. You can do the same here while I'm saying, check. You don't believe me? Huh? It's up to you, but you don't tell me I'm not a liar. You don't verify. Okay? You got to go to the Hebrew to check for the Holy Bible. I didn't do it. Just get a dictionary, but don't call me a liar. Or is that clear? Well, the history is reading, you do your own research. Doing the history books. Uh, history? What is history? The meaning of history. Uh, History is that which is written or that which is told. Is it all true or all false? Or is it all, all true meet with false statements? Because history can be mixed with true and false statements or can be all false statements. History can be all true statement history depend on the writer who he wants the person to look good in history even when that person does not look at all good is that clear enough yeah that's history uh, in other words that which is written or that is told that is history history can be made of facts or a lies or false statements or can be a mix of truth of facts with false statements or can be or false or true depends on the writer of history okay so be careful is that clear enough yeah, pretty good huh learn from those things okay be careful you trust I, I don't trust Anybody want my heart or my strength? Nah, I learned. But I had to read the whole Bible first, right? To know about those stupid preachers. Excuse me. Those are preachers, I mean. Bunch of thieves. Not thieves, oh, okay. I'm not gonna hit them all the same way, okay? But many of them teach false statements and lies or mix lies with truth. And there are many that say they are prophets. When in reality, to know that this they tell you, not all is true. Okay, can be a myth, true. Okay, they teach proud when they start asking for your ties and free offers, right? Offerings. <laughs> uh, and they don't teach the truth. Yeah, it is true. For them to receive offerings, right? Or, or to receive the ties, which is the ten percent of your earnings. First fruits, that's what you earn, those are there, uh, to those preachers usually, and they're teaching you a bunch of lies, hmm. or lies mixed with true. Hmm. That's for all, according to me, those preachers are committing, or pastors or leaders, it's really not there that the pastors or leaders, I mean, they, they don't care about the chips, you know, the people there, they just want gain for themselves. Okay, yeah, I said that. I said, I think this is 11. You don't believe me? I don't care. You just 
do your own profile, you call it Bible and read by yourself, don't change anything. Go to the Hebrew, you have to go and get a dictionary Hebrew English or Hebrew Spanish or whatever language you read Hebrew and find out the words what they mean. Otherwise, don't come in liar. Is that clear enough? And about history. History is written, huh? Uh, what else are we talking about here? That's all we got about history. I guess, uh, yeah, we learn from the past, improve our future based on the past, what happened. Yeah. Yeah, government is trying to control the people and put under submission, and churches and congregations usually are just to keep under control the people, you know, certain places. So they won't be doing other things. Yeah. Keep them under submission. Certain person there. <laughs> Alright. That's what you should have for. Uh, many congregations that preach the gospel. Cause I call gospel. Cause I call Holy Bible. Alright. And from the past. Not by strength. Not by human force, and not by forces of military strength, are worse one. Right? The way Holy Bible is written, but Yahweh gives the victory. <laughs> yes. Right? There are scriptures that says it's written that there about the kingdom of God is at the what? And who take it by? Kingdom of God is uh, the brave men and the violent taken by force, right? It's not written in the Holy Bible, New Testament. I was saying before, the Kingdom of God is the righteous, but it's not written that way, but I just was studying the righteous. I say this, it's written, the Kingdom of God is the brave and the violent taken by force. So be careful there with the people that, that are violent people and try to submit you by force even when you're not doing anything wrong. Is that clear enough? See you next time. Come on, blame my true friends. Only my true friends and nobody else but my true friends. Okay? Keep it clean. Okay? And don't preach something do not apply to your own life. Is that clear, Stonkin? All preachers are there. Uh, all governors are there. Don't do to others what you don't want others to do to you. Don't say that, you know. That's the logic thing. Because you do something, something goes back to you, right? Uh, they say karma. I don't know how to start in Australia. It's only one way to find out. I don't know, but let's leave it like that. Faye? What's Faye? I have no faith. I have no hope. I just sleep one day at a time. Yeah, I do that, you know. Whatever comes tomorrow will come. <laughs> ah, and that's written right there. Prophecy is just like a divination. And Yahweh, depending on version you read, or Jehovah, or Yahweh. He put the spirit allies in prophets. Uh, also, it's written right there. Jehovah or Yahweh or, or Yahweh betrays his prophets. Yeah, Jehovah betrays his prophets. So, I'm not very comfortable preaching. <laughs> Any issues for any place like that, you know. So, I don't like to be a liar, you know. Fake at those places, telling people false statements and watch a craft that is not true. Okay, do your homework, preacher preaches, take notes, verify if they are telling you the truth. Whatever it is, nobody has a very famous name as a prophet, a pastor, a preacher, anywhere in the world. You do your homework, and verify, other words, check, check, I mean, they're telling you the truth, investigate, you know. There was also, you know, 
of investigators and crimes. Do that too. Don't be stupid. <laughs>